Hi folks, welcome back to The Horde. Today is Monday. It's about 11.30. It's the 14th, about 45, 46 degrees out. I've had the door open for a few minutes, so it's probably really the temperature. All right, folks, so my obsession with this Cushman has finally yielded some results. I was thinking about, you know, troubleshooting now, why the thing seems to have no spark. Obviously, I have carburation, or when you spray starting fluid into the intake, um, they're supposed to start, right? They're supposed to, if you have spark there and you have starting fluid, it should at least kick or something, and it wasn't doing that yesterday. So, um, that was annoying, obviously. Anyway, so I did some troubleshooting, even drew a schematic. Look at this. Here you go, as I fall over. Troubleshooting, ignition, no spark. So I don't know how well you guys could see this. But, I mean, obviously you start out with the battery, you turn the switch on, and you make sure you have 12 volts on the coil. So I did all that. Success. Very happy. Um, after the coil, you come down to the points. Um, open the, took a look at the points, and they were, uh, to be honest with you, pretty, uh, pretty crappy. Um, they were growing black stuff. So, I took my little file out here. And just uh, put it between the points and slid it back and forth a few times. And put it all back together again and gave it another shot. And it, it really, I just used choke. Um, and she still didn't want to fire up. So I pulled the uh, first plark, spark plug and I discovered on this first spark plug over here, oh, lights. I discovered that the, uh, where are we there, right there, I discovered that the boot was long and that the uh, cap wasn't completely sitting on the uh, spark plug. I took the plug out cleaned it up, put anti-seize on the threads, you know, aluminum heads, you like to keep anti-seize on that. Um, and uh, as a matter of fact, there's the anti-seize right there. Um, put that on the threads, put it back together again, um, give it a little, gave it a little hoot of ether, and she fired up, which makes me happy, right? That's why we're playing this game. I adjusted the idle, um, adjusted the choke, and uh, it seems to be good. Uh, since I last fired it up, I put on my put on a brand new sock for an air filter there. Um, you really don't want this too long because you don't want it to pull in and jam up the works in there, especially the throttle. If it jams the throttle wide open, um, one's going to get into trouble, um, obviously. So um, anyway, I'm just going to give this thing a quick fire up. I'm running a little chainsaw gas in it. Um, because these, well, it says it's a 72, but I, I put a little little oil in the gas because I figure it helps keep things lubed up in there. If it fouls an occasional spark plug, so be it. So anyway, gas on. Let's see if she fires right up or if she's going to give me grief. <laughs> Not bad for an amateur. Still a little bit lean, 
on acceleration, um, but it's it's cold. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to unbury it, and what we'll do is we'll take it out for a little bit of a of a romp. I think I can squeeze it out of here, and uh, we'll take it for a little bit of a ride. See how she does. Anyway, folks, so it's running. Actually, this is the best it's ever sounded. Sometimes it takes more than one uh, try to get these things going. Um, I know uh, this thing probably could have been one video, but instead it turned into four. But the idea, I, I guess, is, uh, you know, best laid plans of uh, mice and men. It'd be wonderful if everything worked on the first try. But reality is, it rarely ever does. So you got to kind of, you know, stop and scratch your head and figure out, what am I going to do? I need to fix this. And then, and then you go forward again. Uh, I see another roof i got to tack down over there. Having a hoard is a lot of work. Anyway, folks, remember, keep uh, your handlebars um, up, you know, off the pavement, out of the snow. Live, love, have a great time, and uh, next video will hopefully be us going for a little bit of a ride.